It's making it, it happen. Here come Ryan Garcia, everybody. Turn him up. Get him going. The man, the myth, the legend. My dude. What's up, man? Last time I talked to you, you told me you wanted Manny Pacquiao. That motherfucker didn't, that shit didn't go through, though. So. He ducked you. Hold on, you nah, can't, you nah, can't. come in hot, baby. He didn't, he didn't go through. He, it didn't go through because, not because he was scared, because oh. that shit was a lie. I'm right. not saying Manny Pacquiao was scared. But they called you. Of course. I'm not, I, I'm not even here to talk about that. I'm here I to got fuck you. up for tuna. All yeah, right. Well, yeah, no, but the, yeah, you can't, you can't call, uh, you can, I don't know. I, I you, never even got close to calling him scared. I would never do that. No, I'm saying like, uh, MF, you came in like that motherfucker. Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, I was just like, no, whatever. You can't do that with Pat. I know, and not saying him a motherfucker. I'm talking about. Well, the I gotta guy. address you. I'm talking about the guy. Hold up. I'm talking about the guy that said that claimed that he oh, had okay. that, that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I'm right. not talking about Pat. I have too much respect for Pat. Yo. Don't no even way. matter. Where your shirt at? What do you mean? You Where's the, your shirt? Okay. Guy, okay. Man, you don't hate on the oh, drip. Put the diamond out. Put the diamond don't out. Don't hate on the drip. <laughs> okay. Man. Sean, why are you okay. hating today? I don't know. What the heck? You woke I up s- on the wrong side of the bed? No, did you? I saw man. you up there. I said, I said, can't ride. You look, you look hard today. What's going on? I was just, I was having a good time in there. I showed him respect off the gate, but then he turned up on me. So it was, what a, it was whatever. You should have took your hat back. Yeah, I should have grabbed that shit. But, you know, he needs the drip more than me. Hey, he Ryan, looks good with that hat. Ryan, put these guys, these boxers up on game on how to get the business right outside of boxing. you like, you're number one at this shit. I'm yeah. Be <laughs> you know what? They just have to let go of their egos and uh, balance their life and uh, figure out what works for them. And then uh, exploit it and market yourself well and uh, figure it out. You know, every day is called trial and error. So continue to post, continue to. You know, venture out what looks best, what doesn't look best, what's getting you views, what's not getting you views. Detach it from it. Detach from your uh, social media emotionally so that you can look at it objectively and then gain followers. You know, whether whether, you know, the small percentage of people are hating. Those are the people that are actually watching every single video you make. Yep. Waiting to hate. Okay. Waiting to hate. Okay. I'm not going to keep you long at all. We're not going to keep nah, you take long. take me long. Let's let's start from the top. <laughs> Uh, everything with Joe Goose in. Somebody that if I was actually scared of anything, uh, I could come to and he'll help me figure he helped, it out. He helped, he helped me I figure it that, out. Man. So, uh, I know Joe to be a yeah. really – he's a great guy. He is a great guy. He's a great guy. Um, I don't know how many coaches you've had through the years, but, but in terms of Joe as a coach, would you say he's the best, one of the best coaches you've had? Uh, I would say that he is the best coach I had because he has all the qualities of a great coach. Uh, people don't give him credit because he's never had one of those really talented fighters, if you really look at it. Mm-hmm. He's only had guys that were gritty, um, ex- b- besides Corrales and obviously the Rellis brothers. But if you really look at them, they didn't really have out-of-this-world speed or power. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he knew how to make them fight at their best abilities. So, uh, oh, wait, he did have Michael Nunn, sorry. Michael yeah, Nunn was yeah, a beast. He had none. He yeah. had none. So, uh, that was probably his only really talented fighter he had. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just amazing to show how great of a trainer he is and how much he pays attention to everything, uh, and he makes the best out of his fighter. So, uh, I would say that he's, yeah, the best trainer I've had. Whenever my dad let me work with another coach, I was always, like, giddy. Like, all right, I'm going to show this coach mm. what I got. When you went to Joe, was it was it like let me show Joe everything that I got? Or that was, was the first time, the first training camp. Yeah. Um, I I was, you know, wanting to be a show off. Yeah. You know, dog people and spar and do what I gotta do. Uh, but then um, I just noticed that that's stupid. I don't need to do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I just need to focus on what's gonna get me better. Mm-hmm. You know, me uh, dropping people, and knocking them out. It's not gonna do shit for me. You know, I'm not making no money beating up sparring partners. That was you as a spar like in in camp. You trying to knock people out? No, not trying to knock them out, but I just had no mercy. I didn't care. Yeah. And when they did drop, I let them get up and then drop them again. That's the part of Ryan. I don't think people understand or or or, or, or overlooking you. Yeah. Like you, no mercy. You know what I'm saying? Like people He's don't dog. know that. Of, yeah. Dog. People don't don't know that about you. Well, because they don't know. You know, I have a. I look a certain way, but I was raised in a certain atmosphere that I had to be uh, I had to, I had to fend for myself. You had to be a dog. You, had to be a dog, you know, yeah. where I grew up, it was brown and black culture. <laughs> and yeah. We always fought, you yeah. know what I mean? They always wanted to fight me. I step into the locker room, it's on. There's yeah. no, nothing I could do about it. I can't run away. They say, no, you got to go bodies. You're no boxer. 
big dudes. And I'm like, if I say no, I'm I'm a bitch. Or if, <laughs> if I say no, they're going to fight me anyway. So it didn't matter. I know so that I, is. I, you know how many times that happened to me? Like four or five times. My best friend, Lawrence, that I still, he's right there. He's going to fight on the card. We met because he, he, didn't, he didn't think I was a boxer in ninth grade. And you he had to put, put the paws on him? Oh, I dogged him. He knows I dogged him. You stopped him? him? Of course. He said he had he ate hot Cheetos. I said, you a lying ass. He did not eat hot Cheetos today. He couldn't take the conditioning. He was big, though. I was 125. He was like 165. But I dogged him. He couldn't easy take work. it. Easy work. It was easy work till he got tired. Any <laughs> questions for, for King Rye? Y'all send them in right now. Yeah. Right now. Hey, working with uh, Joe's Goosen, like I was talking to Sean about his dad, you know, you get a trainer like that, he will go back to the basics, the one-twos. Did mm. you guys go back to the basic on certain things with your style? Uh, he, he he likes to do that stuff. And, you know, to me, I'm I'm elusive. And it, I feel like it was time to go back to that. Mm-hmm. It was time to be a boxer again. Uh, I, a lot of the times in the Canelo camp, you know, it was just straightforward bombs. Straightforward bombs, fakes, bombs, fakes, bombs, not even thinking about, you know, counters and stuff. It was just bombs. So I got used to that, just throwing bombs and countering you with everything. But now uh, I kind of got back to what I usually do, you know, in the, from the Fonseca fight to, 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 to the fights that, you know, you see me working that jab, countering them. I'm a natural boxer, a natural counter puncher. It's just I'm, I'm fast. I'm supposed to do that. My body frame's supposed to do that. So I feel like right now I'm at the best place in my life skill level wise and uh, defensive, defensive wise and awareness and timing. So everything, to be honest, everything, I, I, I'm at a good place right now. And you're a young kid, so it's little things. You're talented enough to get away with. I'm a young man. Yeah, 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 young yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. Young kid, like 15, Yeah, 14. you're right, you're right, you're right. man, I'm 23. But you have Dang, you, that's cold-blooded, nah, man. No, no, no. You got to say I'm, it right, I'm, I'm man. I'm boxing talk. You got to be specific. That's boxing talk. Man, I'm a dog. <laughs> I notice everything. I'm a dog. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got you. I no, got no, you. it's a joke. But, but, but you're so talented, <laughs> yeah. even with Sean on the backside of his career. Yep. There's so much stuff you can adjust on, Ryan. Mm-hmm. Your peak, you haven't hit your peak yet, man. No, I haven't hit my peak. I would say that – um I'm happy that I am so young because I could make that adjustment. I didn't like the way I fight, fought my last fight because I was confused on styles. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. I hadn't fought in a year and a half. I didn't even know how to box. I was like, what the hell am I doing? I just knew I'm fast and quick, mm-hmm. and that's it. <laughs> yeah, worst <laughs> but, come to worst, I got it in my bag. Yeah, if whatever happens, this guy can't beat me because yeah. I'm just too strong and powerful for him. But then as I got back, you know, after that fight, I thought to myself, okay, where, where am I at? right now you know what I mean I looked at the truth of it but then it was like a blessing in disguise because now I could base my training off a 12 round fight right I never had fought a 12 round fight I didn't right. even know what part of the fight I would get tired or what part of the fight were to be like damn it's a six round it's still six more rounds to go like I never had thought about that in any <laughs> fight yeah ever yeah I was just like you know yeah. even with Luke Campbell I I just didn't think he would make it out of even when I was fighting I was like all right fifth round I heard him like I could knock him out now yeah. So this fight, I was like, I'm probably not going to knock this guy out because he's running like this. And I, I'm just not at the place where I want to be at, you know. Hold on. And was he running or was he moving? No, he was running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this guy was running. <laughs> no, moving is different. You Carson, know? was he running or no, was he no, moving? No, moving because he was running because if he was moving, he would have been throwing punches and circling around me. Okay, okay. That's moving. All right, running, all right. he's taking off. He's, okay, all right. He getting rope burns. All right. Rope burns all day and holding me every chance he gets. That's running. <laughs> You know what I mean? Movies different. Movies like Mayweather. Uh, he he's setting something up. He, he's you know he he's trying to bait you in or 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 then he steps to you. That's moving. That's controlling the ring. That's controlling the aspect of the you know of ring generalship. Yeah. The guy wasn't. There's nothing he was controlling. He was just running and holding. And that's all he wanted to do. Hey, let's, he was outmatched. Let's, he let's, was outmatched. Let's get to some of these uh, questions real quick before you, <laughs> before we up. let you get out of here. <laughs> he was Shout scared out. for his life. He was like, fuck He's this. He's still going. I'm dead. I don't want this shit. Shout he out to Francis. One left he was like, fuck that. Be quiet. Be quiet. That work. You're laughing. You're, Bro, you're he just, didn't want that work. He was you're so inspiring. You he just kept keep running, going. running. Like that song from uh, 21 Savage. Running, <laughs> running, running, running. You know what I mean? He just didn't want nothing. 21 Savage. Running. For real? Come on. No, not that, not the, not the, the, I know what you're talking about. It's the wrong song. All right, all but right. it's, he has a song called Running. Carson, what's the song that I'm thinking of? He knows. Oh, running, 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 running. Mm-hmm. I know what okay, you're talking okay. about. Okay. Hey, yo, Francis G, right quick, shout him out. 
uh, handling our our, uh, our new logo. Francis Nagano? Uh, no, Galian, G- oh. uh, Galanachi. Oh, yeah. shout out Francis from England. Galanachi from yeah, England. England. Yep. Them he England said, boys are smart. He said, what's your definition of greatness? My definition of greatness is to be great in everything you do from the way you uh, present yourself, the way you move, the way you box, the way you – anything in your career, that's greatness. Taking it to the highest level, being honest with yourself, truthful, and ultimately at the highest level, greatness is to fulfill what God has in your life and to become a better man every day and not never go. to settle for go. anything less but being the best version mm. of yourself every single day. Mm. No matter if talk. you stumble or fall, you get right back to truth and you deny the, the doubt that comes into your mind that tries to bring up the past that you don't even think about it you just go and be best you go and be great no matter what the people say you go be great you rely on the truth and you tell these people can you do it no you can't so I'm gonna keep going and going and going and going until you're at the top 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 level ever you're just a dog you're just a dog keep going (laughs) I gotta protect my man from himself You got, so it doesn't close. take a lot to give you. Got to you got to keep that energy, man. Yeah, I, I love gotta it. protect you from yourself. Yeah. Couple more questions for you, big dog. Christian asks, oh my uh, God. "What statement you're trying to uh, send in this fight? Uh, Even more importantly, specifically, who are you trying to send that statement to?" I'm trying to send a statement to Fortuna. When I hit him with a shot, and he decides to retire after, that's what I want. I want to hit him with something that sends shock waves. To the whole boxing world that I that but I want to display I hope that I could display my skill level this fight and I hope that I could get a great knockout those are two things I aspire in this fight but ultimately at the end of the day I want a great performance I want to be happy within myself on how I fought and then win the fight that's really what it comes down to but if I could ask for more it would be one of those shots that shocked the whole world mm. yeah a, a devastating yeah. knockout punch would would be great. Yeah. But That's if not, I want to be happy within myself on how I fought. And down the road, I'm going to speak in existence for you. When yeah. you become undisputed, yeah. can you come out to your next fight after you get undisputed in a jean jacket? You know who we're nope. honoring, right? Nope. You know nope. what we talking about? Joe could stick with Joe. <laughs> Joe sticks with Joe. You can't come out in jeans? Nope. You ain't okay I swear. If, if, if it looked fly, then yeah. If, if you, you can pull that off, right? I could pull on a lot of stuff, but the jean jacket, that's Joe. Come on, man. Joe, it got to be Joe. Ryan got to be Ryan, man. Joe always tried to, he, he gave me all his jean, extra he jean jacket. He gave you some jeans? No, he did. No, he, he did. He gave you some jeans? Stop it. No, he did so, not. He gave Bro, some jeans. Bro, he took me to his hotel room. He had, a, like, about 100 jean jackets on the... I was I'm not like, believing that. All the same that's colors? A true no. He got, a, he got a cartoon closet. Like, you know how they go to the, Bro, the closet t- and everything is the you same? You guys think I'm exaggerating. He had a black one on yesterday. I'm telling you, he got every color. But <laughs> and then he he asked like he's new. He's like, bro, have you seen the new jean jacket? I'm like, nah, Aww. bro. He's like, he's like, it's new. I was like, it's not new. I ain't bring you on my show no more, hey, man. You right, be embarrassing right, people, right. man. Does all jean jackets look like they're from like '95 to you, bro? They all vintage. They don't even matter. They're all vintage. <laughs> nah, but I love Joe. Though. Listen, yeah. real quick before but he you did, go. He really did have. About a hundred jean jackets on his, on his bed. I laid believe out that. For me. I really do. Oh, oh they, they wasn't laid out for you, though. He was like, pick one. I was like, what? No. <laughs> yes, he did. He had me try it on. I thought I was at a modeling shoot again. Oh, man. Oh, this man. dude is wild. Let me, I got to let you get out of here, man. So no, you no. Go keep chill, me here. Keep me go here. Go cool out. Oh, but no we, cooling we, out. We got to ask you. I'm going to stay in the sun for seven hours straight. When you, when you talk about <laughs> the Tank Davis fight. Yeah. And... I don't know if you heard De La Hoya speaking on it earlier. I actually think I locked eyes with you at that at that point. You were listening to him. Yeah, speak, we did lock eyes. Um, he he he. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that messed up? Did I say that the wrong way? Nah, no, y'all good? Y'all good? We no, live. I just yeah, we I just wanted to acknowledge it. I just I just wanted to kill that cat in the room. Oh. <laughs> I had to address the elephant in the room. As as he was speaking about it, you know what I mean. I think that he was saying, "Hey, you know, I want to give my fighter what he wants." That butt came. When the butt came. Obviously, you see the re- reaction right there. I couldn't that help butt myself. does not matter. Sometimes I can't help myself. That butt does not matter. I don't care about butts. That right fight. Now, that shit. That fight. That fight's next for you. You know, at the end of the day, right now, I'm gonna deny myself from even thinking that. I'm Understood. gonna deny it in okay. my in myself Understood. eternally okay. to not address it. Understood. But you guys know where my heart's positioned. Say no more. It. Say no more. Yep. Say no more. Right. I gotta get you out of here, man. Okay, man. I love you, bro. I gotta get you out of here. Protect yourself, big dog. Yeah, yeah. And I mean internally. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. You're right. You're Hold right that energy, that. man, till you till it till it's time. Yep.
God bless you. Find happiness within you, baby. You got it. Yeah, I Hold on. I already you. told him that. I already told him that. I already told him that. I already told him that. He's good, man. Sean, give him credit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> A, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. He didn't get heated. A little bit. He called himself the boogeyman. How you gonna get yeah. heat with all that ice on? Shit, if he did, I would smack him. Come on, man. No, no, I'm saying, how you gonna get heated it's with all that go. ice oh, on? Yeah, That's my guy right, right there. Cool hey, man, you need a hype, man? I ain't doing nothing. Right, man, <laughs> I got you. you I got you. Right, cool, cool, cool. 700 an hour. Just hype Damn. me up. Dang, that's how like, Because cause he don't get. <laughs> I don't pay him, so. I don't pay him, so. you just gonna take him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's our shirt, man. We appreciate it. Appreciate you, big dog. Talk later. I mean, I'm in, I'm in San Diego all the time, baby. I ain't coming. To, uh, <laughs> I'm a San Diego guy. I live in Vegas, though. All right, I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right, man. Um, yo, I think that uh, yeah, that, that concludes the fire up today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That concludes the fire up today. Great dude, man. Great yeah, energy. Great you know energy. what I mean? Let me do this, man. I, I got to do this disclaimer for him. All right. You're not going to always like the package. You're not going to always like the way that it, 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 it comes. But he delivers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he has delivered. Let me also say this. It's okay for him to have all the followers that he has on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's okay for him to tend to those followers that he has on social media. Don't think that because he's doing things outside of the boxing ring that he's not going to be great inside of the ring. To this point in his career, he's 22 and 0. Mm -hmm. He's been great 22 times. Mm -hmm. Let the man be great. You know, stop stepping on him. Stop expecting him to be the the boxer that you've seen everybody else be. The world is changing. This sport's changing. Take a look at me. I retire when I'm 34, and everybody's saying come back, and you. You still got more. You can do this. You can do that. I'm trying to change what we do as boxers. Mm -hmm. Let's get in there. Let's make the money we need to make. Let's entertain the fans. Let's do what we got to do to make sure that those fans are with us after we leave the sport. Mm -hmm. But let's do something different. I want to do something different. This man is daring to be great in and out of the ring. And, you know, while we're encouraging other fighters to be greater outside of the ring, of course we want them to handle their business inside of the ring. Don't allow that to distract you. This man had to take, what, like virtually a whole year away from the sport yeah. because things were not right. Yeah, get, yeah you got to get it right within you. And he, and he did what he needed to do to come back stronger. He's, he's changed his camp. And, uh, you know what I mean, I, 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 I hope the best for the, for the kid because he, he just really is. He's a really good guy. You know what I mean? I know he checked you. He said, yo, I'm a, I'm a young man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's boxing. It's the yeah. boxing game. We all kids in this, in this sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I do, uh, I do want to um, – uh, say that I do hope the best for him. I mm -hmm. hope the best for Fortuna in this fight. But uh, you guys got to give this man uh, the credit that he deserves because he's been great for for 22 outings. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know we'll see how 21 looks. Yeah. And if 21 looks good, like don't downplay it because he does anything else. Like acknowledge. 23. What, Excuse me, 23. Why, how the hell? I don't know you went back. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were talking about 21 Savage. I was lost. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I've been tripping today. Yeah. 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 Let's see what 23 looks like <laughs> and, and give him credit for 23. You know what I mean? And, the, hey, if the worst happens and 23 ain't as good as it looks, yeah. you know what I mean? Don't don't blame it on anything else. Get, let, let's keep it clear. Again, keep it clear. He's told y'all that it's not a distraction. Mm -hmm. He took away that excuse. Yeah. So so if something happens and it don't go the way he wanted to, don't say, yeah, you should have been doing this and you should have mm -hmm. been doing that. He already said that ain't the excuse. You know what I mean? So if if it don't go the way he expects it to, then we'll, we'll see in the moment what's going on. Mm -hmm. I expect Fortuna to give Ryan Garcia some problems. He, go, he will go through hell to earn that victory. 